Hello and welcome. I am Kurt Christian Vitabera, and I'm going to present my paper entitled A Dialectical Analysis of House Bill 5717, an act recognizing, defining, and protecting the rights of heterosexuals and for other purposes. Now, to formally introduce this paper, I think it's imperative that I discuss House Bill 5717 first. Marx and Engels boldly state that the history of all hitherto existing societies renders itself as the history of class struggles. This similar point, albeit not the intention of the said thinkers, also applies to identity politics. There exists a tension between liberals and conservatives through a broad perspective. Through a microanalysis of societal functions of identity politics, we discover the internal contradictions between the ideologies of those holding various identities. In such cases, we see a struggle between the two classes in political ideologies. Uh, House Bill 5717 ultimately exhibits such identity political class struggle. In the status quo, Congressman Bienvenido Abante on the 26th of, of, of October 22 filed House Bill 5717, which precisely posits an act recognizing, defining, and protecting the rights of heterosexuals and for other purposes. The existence of such renders a potential dialectical necessity meriting examination. Thus, there must be a specific internal contradiction that would lead us to a pathological connection that emits the mentioned bills being such internalization of contradictions and the pathological association uh, through contiguities should become the central focus of this paper. From the foregoing discussion, we have affirmed two attributes of House Bill 5717. One, that it is a phenomenon. Two, that it is political. Hence, I find it fitting to describe li liberal democracy because it encapsulates political phenomena and the Philippines' form of government. Liberal democracy premises itself in the boundaries of equal recognition. Now, Francis Fukuyama states that liberal democracy's central conjecture centers on equal in on equality in distinction. Any act against such premise should ultimately regard itself as directly contradictory to liberal democracy. Hence, the said notion heavily associates itself with identity politics. Further, liberal democracy shall not become associated with the idea of liberalism, which usually opposes conservatives and republicans. This paper shall employ liberal democracy as a political form that upholds the formerly mentioned premise. Thus, we shall acknowledge that Philippines as performatively operating through a liberal democratic political form because our state recognizes the capability of individual identities as equal in rights and participation in the policy process. Hegel's philosophy remarkably attains the attribute of complexity, thereby positing itself as impossible to discuss in a 3,000-word paper without oversimplifying. Uh, with that said conflict, I should endeavor to offer an exposition of Hegel's theory of history uh, with specific limitations. I do not claim that every idea that I shall hereafter discuss encapsulates Hegel's entire philosophical system. So the succeeding discussion should only offer a service level discourse on what Hegel thought about historical development through ontological necessity. Hegel's dialectic uh, first associates itself with motion, then with contradictions. The German term dialectic, as Hegel employs it, heavily depends on the notion of movement. A dialectical analysis centers on constant conjunctions concerning contradictory ideas. Unlike Kant and his antinomies, Hegel believed that the opposition of ideas does not pose a deadlock in epistemology, but an answer. The Hegelian dialectic includes two necessary concepts, the entfremdung and the entausserung. Entfremdung as alienation is simultaneously positive and negative for identity. The concept first becomes negative in terms of the distinction between the ego and the other, thereby gathering a broader perspective concerning reality. And Tosarong uh, closely relates to the notion of alienation, but differs in terms of the preposition. And from Dong solely pertains to making something alien, while in Tosarong uh, adds the idea of making something external. And Tosarong affirms that such alienation also associates with becoming externalized, thereby acquiring a perspective free from constraints of ideologies, thereby affirming, as mentioned above, the ability of absolute knowing. Now, the concept of Aufheben. Uh, contains a complex definition that caters to an internal contradiction. Usually translated as sublation, Hegel's Aufheben means to simultaneously preserve and negate. Both uh, descriptions of the said notion submit to the dialectical necessity of motion. To preserve pertains to the intentional act of maintaining the substratum of an object 
To negate describes the deed of canceling any remaining substratum of an object. The combination of both leads to the Hegelian idea of Hebon. Uh, the sublation ultimately means the partial negation of contradiction while inevitably sustaining the necessary substratum of such antinomies. Now, Congressman Bienvenido Abante's uh, heterosexual act only recently emerged into existence. So the primary referral of the bill addresses itself to the Committee on uh, Women and Gender Equality. Albeit it still acquires a pending status in terms of approval, we cannot dismiss the probability of such a document becoming passed for promulgation or legislation. The Heterosexual Act of 2022, as filed by Abante, primarily centers on the conservative religious ideologies within the Philippines. The said bill has religiosity as its central attribute. The introductory paragraphs of the document heavily contain verses directly cited from the Bible. Further, the submitted document intended for legislation inherently acquires the act of responding to the Anti-Discriminatory Act, or the SOGI bill. The manuscript that Abante further directly states that if homosexuals, uh, bisexuals, and queers should receive the capability of becoming protected de jure, then heterosexuals should also obtain such protections. However, contradictory, this bill may postulate itself, acknowledging that the Anti-Discriminatory Act applies to all persons, not only to the members of the LGBTQ plus community, it still renders itself necessary within liberal democracy's premise. Uh, the Anti-Discriminatory Act, also known as the SOGI Bill, uh, primarily postulates the value of identity in its political aspect. The Act itself states the necessity to acknowledge individual identities with respect. Further, the Bill does not only focus on identities of those asserting their genders as non-binary, but it promotes inclusivity to all genders. Thus, the file document renders itself performative of the struggle of equal recognition in the political sense. As Hannah Arendt postulated, we can consider a phenomenon political if it should enter the public sphere. Indubitably, the phenomenon at hand situates itself in the public sphere, thereby making itself political and capable of affecting the general public. Further, the bill also enforces the notion that the Philippines operates through liberal democracy as it premises itself in equal recognition. In this portion, I'll discuss the uh, main argument of the paper. Uh, so a dialectical anal analysis of heterosexual act of 2022 would theoretically explain its ontological ex implications. This portion of the paper intends to establish a systematic inv investigation concerning the ontological imports of the discussed bill to dissect and demonstrate the potential dialectical relationships from one phenomenon to another. Further, the examination should employ the concept of in Hegel's philosophy as a hermeneutical device for the said phenomenon. The premise of liberal democracy shall enable our examination to commence for the possibility of differing epistemic stances. Finally, the conclusion should follow that Hegel's logical doctrine or theory of histories serves as a hermeneutical tool to understand the political, the ontological implications of heterosexual act of 2022. Now, uh, the Hegelian framework of historical analysis applies to the emergence of House Bill 5717. House Bill 7 5717 applies itself to the dialectic insofar as it renders itself in motion. The heterosexual act furthers the movement from which the anti-discriminatory act takes precedence. As demonstrated uh, above, that the movement from anti-discrimination act is a sublation uh, that negates the initial negation of Filipino conservatism. House Bill 5717 also encapsulates internal contradictions that set it in motion. House Bill 5717 initiates from the contradiction between Anti-Discriminatory Act and Filipino conservatism. The Anti-Discriminatory Act ultimately contradicts the held beliefs that Filipino conservatives hold. This conflict heavily ex exhibits itself in the biblical doctrine and the LGBTQ plus community. The promulgation of the SOGI Equality Bill would require a certain amount of tolerance that the extreme conservative could not accept. Thus, the documented House Bill 5717 is performative concerning this inability to follow such progressive ideas. Abante explicitly mentions in the manuscript that if we should grant the LGBTQIA plus community the ability to the capability of acknowledged rights, we should also learn to respect the rights of heterosexuals in their religious stances, which is somewhat problematic. 
Now, the process of estrangement reveals the uh, phenomena as various forces repelling one from the other due to incompatible epistemic stances. The contradiction present in House Bill 717 exhibit themselves through a lengthy process of debating ideologies. The process would thereby render the phenomena in its ontological continuity because disagreements persist as long as they are epistemically anchored in different ideologies. Through the process of entosharang, we encounter a deadlock of, con of conflicting ideologies that demand recognition. The Soji Equality Bill en endeavored to break the oppression direct directed against those who identify themselves uh, with the gender orientation of non-binary. The Anti-Discriminatory Act therefore situates itself within the Filipino liberals who attempted to promote equality in treatment among individuals. The Heterosexual Act of 2022 however, intends to reinforce the beliefs that they held which potentially spiked the discrimination against the LGBTQ plus community. The conservative ideology in such circumstances demands superior recognition and respect for their beliefs that precisely contradicts equal recognition wanted by the liberals. The heterosexual act as the phenomenon under examination is the sublation of the contradiction between the Soji Equality Bill and the Filipino conservatism. The Hegelian theory of history through dialectical reasoning would conclude that the House Bill 5717 renders itself as the, as the Hegelian of, of Hebon, which followed from the foregoing contradictions. The movement that occurred in such phenomena does not imply good progress. What we examine renders themselves as mere movement from one phenomenon to another through constant conjunctions and dialectical relationships. This portion of the presentation intends to revisit the claim and the premises to establish whether the preceding discussion validates the former. The first premise states that internal contradictions exist among Filipino citizens living in a system of liberal democracy. As repeatedly mentioned above, the premise of liberal democracy centers on equal recognition. Through the process of submitting documents for legislation, we notice the concretization of internal contradictions between different identities and ideologies. These contradictions constantly repel each other, thereby resulting in an entirely new phenomenon that should sublate the double negation. Hence, from the previous discussion, we can safely assume that the first premise holds water, insofar as the examination proved that there exists internal contradictions among Filipino citizens per recognition. The second premise affirms that there persist internal contradictions within liberal democracy concerning the sublation from the Anti-Discrimination Act of to the heterosexual act of 2022. The internal contradictions between opposing ideologies further result in a sublation that enables the heterosexual act to emerge into existence. The paper first analyzed the internal contradictions between, between liberal democracy and conservative Filipino mind, which furthered the sublation of the anti-discrimination act. The second examination consists of the investigating the of investigating the internal contradictions between the Soji Equality Bill and the conservative Filipino mind, which then led to the dialectical connection, connection and sublation to the Heterosexual Act of 2022. The third premise explains the potential usefulness of Hegel's logical doctrine, the theory of history as a hermeneutical device for various types of phenomena and their ontological implications. Through the analysis of this inquiry, I established the important concepts utilized by Hegel in his native tongue, the mentioned ideas became applied throughout the analysis of the ontological implications of the Heterosexual Act of 2022. The conclusion should thus follow that analyzing the Heterosexual Act of 2022 should become productive and effective in understanding its ontological uh, implications through Hegel's dialectic. Uh, the paper exhibited that the Heterosexual Act of 2022 inherits a dialectical relationship with Soji Equality Bill through contiguity and contradictions. This conclusion became possible only through the employment of Hegel's philosophy to the recently reported phenomena. There exists an undeniable connection between such contradictory events that occurred throughout history in the Philippines, which I find it imperative to consider the implications of the contiguity and the dialectical relationships that the analysis established. Further, the results of this inquiry don't, do not offer uh, causal relations of dimension phenomena. The, uh, I am well aware that uh, the electrical relationship does not directly posit causality. Causal, causal implica implications should acquire an interdisciplinary examination that would often hit deadlocks. 
that concludes my presentation. Thank you for listening. Here are my references. Thank you.